Hello everyone, back to you to today's fourth and final video. Uh, wasn't anticipated that we'd have to do this one, but we're doing Snowwatch, our fourth and final video uh, for today, because I think there could be a survey across northern parts of the country on Sunday night and into Monday morning. This is particularly for Scotland, where I think we could get a uh, pretty decent covering of snow, even to low levels, across uh, quite a bit of Scotland during the course of uh, Sunday night and Monday morning. Also, I think there will be some snow for northern Ireland, Island and for Northern England, how much, how long it lasts before it turns back to rain, open to a little bit of doubt, and it could be more restricted to high ground uh, there, but certainly Northern Britain in for some snow uh, late Sunday and into Monday, so uh, we're doing snow watch, have a look at that for our fourth and final video uh, for today. Just to say, the weekend forecast was released as the first video uh, up. And then also, uh, we have the week to 10 day video update for all of the regular features. CFS 6 not looking ahead with the Beijing Climate Centre included uh, was the third video uh, released today. It's been a very, very busy day of updates. Hope you've been enjoying them all. Please uh, hit the like button. Let us know that you've enjoyed all of the uh, videos that we've done today through the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that way, uh, we will um, uh, we'll, uh, know that you're enjoying videos so you'll know where we post them. Right, so to finish it off, we've got Snowwatch. And we're going to start with facts chart, which is the human interpretation of models by forecasters at the UK Met Office. This is facts chart for midday tomorrow. And we've got cold fronts pushing southwards, introducing colder air behind them. That's going to bring quite a wet uh, start to the day to across much of England away, so that will quickly get out of the way, and they'll bring in brighter but colder air from the northwest. Now, this is how things look at midnight, Sunday into Monday. By then, we've got a, got a developing area of low pressure out to the Atlantic, moving into the UK. This is becoming a triple point low, where we've got a warm front, a cold front, and an occluded front uh, meeting at a triple point. There tends to be a lot of precipitation on triple point lows, and this low is coming in to quite cold air. It has a big warm sector with it, where we've got these southwest winds on the southern side of the low. That's where we've got the warm sector, and so the most places we're just talking about rain. Uh, with this. But uh, yes, there is a risk of some snow on the northern side uh, of this triple point low in particular. That's how things look at midday on Monday. So by then, the triple point low is across uh, northeastern England. Again, you see the way the three fronts form a triple point. That's why we call it a triple point low. And the heaviest precipitation tends to be on the triple point itself and uh, that's where we have the greatest risk of snow. So we'll be talking about Scotland, northeastern parts of England, that's where we have a risk of quite significant snow potentially with this triple point low uh, through the course of Monday morning. Eventually the whole thing gets out of the way but probably not before it's brought some very windy weather to western and southwestern parts of Scotland on Monday afternoon. That's the other uh, issue with this area of low pressure. We'll be some very strong winds up to severe gale force. We may see 80 mile an hour gusts across western parts of Scotland. But the low pushes off into the North Sea and then we go back into that colder west northwesterly, which will bring in wintry showers uh, through Tuesday and into Wednesday. Let's see Let's see how the GFS is uh, handling this uh, then. This would be precipitation type forecast with the GFS for 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. Basically by then it's dry. There's a few wintry showers still left in the far northwest, but most places are looking dry by 3 o'clock in the afternoon uh, tomorrow. It's not long before the rain starts to gather in the southwest, though. This is how things look at midnight on Monday. We're at the weather outlook, by the way, uh, for this. So we've got heavy rain coming in across Ireland. Suggestion that some of this could turn to snow through the Republic of Ireland and up towards northern Ireland. Uh, rain down to the south and southwest. Little bit of snow across North Wales and into northwestern parts of England. Where we've got this intense colour, that's going to be the triple point. So that's where the heaviest precipitation will be. And that combined with evaporative cooling is what could allow us to produce a snow event. That's how things look at 3 o'clock in the morning. By then, snowing heavily across Northern Ireland and coming into northwestern uh, parts of England. In fact, quite widely across northern parts of England, there is a suggestion of some snow. 
also beginning to move up towards southwest Scotland. Further south of that, from much of Wales, the Midlands, uh, central, southern, southeast, and we're just talking about outbreaks of rain down here because we're in the warm sector with the area of low pressure. That's six o'clock in the morning on Monday. A real snow event then is taking place across southern, southwestern parts of Scotland and coming down into northern and particularly northeastern parts of England. So northern Yorkshire, that sort of area going further north into Northumberland uh, and then over towards southwestern Scotland could be snowing heavily in that area at six o'clock in the morning and not just over high ground, possibly down to low levels too. And that's the sort of intensity that could provide up to 10 centimetres, four inches of snow particularly over high ground, but not necessarily exclusively so. Back to rain across northwestern parts of England and North Wales. You're in, within the warm sector then on the southern side of the area of low pressure. It's always along the triple point that you get the heaviest precipitation and the greatest risk of snow. That pushes northwards through uh, into 9 o'clock on Monday. So by bed, you see how the snow has gone back to rain across northeastern England. So it may start off very wintry across northeastern parts of England, but it quickly goes back to rain. All of the snow will be washed away. But you may get uh, an hour or so uh, window when you might be able to build a snowman. Further north, though, still snowing heavily across much of Scotland. Again, uh, even to low levels, you would suggest snow uh, is possible there and then the snow carries on pushing northwards into eastern parts of Scotland by midday on uh, Monday by then we've gone back to rain widely across most parts of the country looks like we keep it as snow though as we go through uh, Monday afternoon across Scotland so the mild uh, the warm sector never really gets to Scotland. And as we go into Monday evening and then through to Tuesday, that cold air will start to push back then on those northwestern winds. And then, of course, we've got these wintry showers uh, packing into northern and western parts of the country through Tuesday and on into Wednesday. Some of those penetrate inland as we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday, possibly bringing a little bit of a dusting of snow, maybe through parts of Wales and the Midlands, for example, uh, overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday. But they're primarily, these winter showers are primarily uh, in the north and the west as we go into Wednesday. So that's a GFS. Let's all go high res model, see how that's dealing with things. This is our page again at the weather outlook. We can see, but again, tomorrow afternoon looking mainly dry, just a few wintry showers restricted to those western coasts. It's into Sunday evening, but the rain begins to get going out in the west. So by um, one o'clock in the morning, we've got snow across the Republic of Ireland and pushing in towards Northern Ireland, a little bit across North Wales. Otherwise, it's just rain in this western and southwestern part of the country. That's how things look at four o'clock in the morning. By then, snow possible for Northern Ireland and over into Northern England as well. That becomes quite heavy, that area of snow, from southwestern Scotland down into Northern England. Again, we're talking about enough to produce a covering of snow, probably to low levels in some areas, around breakfast time on Monday and certainly over high ground we could have uh, two or three inches of snow possible with that back towards sort of a sleety mix over across Northern Ireland. 10 o'clock in the morning we've still got snow through much of Scotland down into northern and northeastern parts being it carries on pushing north as it through Scotland remains a the snow there otherwise we go back towards rain and then of course we've got these wintry showers packing in from the west as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday. This is the DWD ICOM model. Again, wintry showers in the northwest uh, tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, though, a lot of dry weather on offer tomorrow afternoon once we get rid of the early morning rain. That's midnight on Monday. Then we've got the rain coming back in towards Wales, southwest England. A little bit of snow possible over Welsh mountains, more particularly over uh, the Republic of Ireland. That's three o'clock in the morning on Monday and heavy snow then across Northern Ireland. The uh, Arpege didn't go as heavy with that snow across Northern Ireland, but that's a proper snow event there being forecast for Northern Ireland. Some uh, snow coming in towards northwestern parts of England 
uh, as well and into North Wales. And then as we go to 6 o'clock in the morning, ICOM wants to produce a snow event across northern England, especially northeastern parts of England. It's struggling to get it up towards southwestern Scotland at this point, mainly rain for Wales and southwest England and also for East Anglia and southeast England. But through this central part of northern England, particularly over the Pennines, of course, where there will be a very substantial dump of snow from that. But I reckon that's the kind of thing that could bring a snow event even to quite low levels across northern parts of England. Then it pushes northwards into northeastern England, up to Scotland through the course of Monday morning. Yes, heavy snow forecast there, going back towards rain and sleet across northern England before it sort of peters out. And uh, then by the end of Monday into Tuesday, we're into those northwesty winds, bringing in those wintry showers, particularly to northern and western parts of the country. But some of them could push in land. There's a suggestion there, for example, at 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, of something wintry moving through Wales, southwestern uh, parts of England. So all looking quite, uh, quite interesting, really, as we go through into uh, next week. This is Halam at MetroSeal.fr. Quite a bit of dry weather across the country uh, tomorrow afternoon. But then as we go into the evening, that's when the rain comes in from the west. Again, chance of a snow event through some parts of Ireland. And we uh, get to 5 o'clock in the morning. Looks like it's snowing uh, across Northern Ireland down into the Republic too. And then pushing over the Irish Sea into North Wales and possibly into the northwestern part of the Midlands actually. So a little bit further southwards with precipitation at breakfast time on Monday. So that's a bit further south in towards the northwestern part of Midlands. Further south of that though and east, we're just talking about those outbreaks of rain. Uh, of course. And then as we go through the course of uh, Monday morning, well, heavy snow then across northern England. Again, that's a real snow event across many parts of northern England. It is further south, though. It's struggling to get up towards uh, Scotland. Does it make it to Scotland? Let's see what happens. So a little bit of snow gets up to Scotland. But really, this is focusing it on northern England. A little bit further south, I think, with that triple point, focusing the snow on northern England, possibly the North Midlands, actually, through uh, Monday morning. That's as far as we go with uh, Halam at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. By then, it's rain across much of England and Wales. Still the chance of snow across northern, northeast England, up into uh, central and southern parts of Scotland. Uh, WRF looks like that. So once again, lots of dry weather through the course of uh, tomorrow afternoon as we go into the evening. That's when things start to get going. So this one is bringing the snow risk to Northern Ireland through the early hours of Monday. That's 3 o'clock in the morning on Monday. Looks like it's snowing quite heavily across much of Northern Ireland. A little bit coming into northwestern parts of England then as well. And then a snow event through for, for Northern England again, Southern Scotland. A little bit further north compared to Halam. Uh, with it, but a snow event through particularly northeastern parts of England, southern Scotland, breakfast time on Monday, goes back to rain through the course of Monday morning across northern England, stays as snow across Scotland, the south and southeast never gets any snow uh, at all, you just uh, keep um, rain going Sunday night and through to Monday, let's have a look as far as we can get to, which is taking us into the middle of next week, wintry showers then into the north and west. Beyond that, we have a couple of interests later in the week as well. So that's Wednesday with the GFS bringing in this northwesterly uh, wind. That's going to be wintry showers. Then low pressure comes in from the Atlantic on Thursday. Track of that's important because it's coming in to quite cold air. And then the GFS, uh, this particular GFS run, the midday run of the GFS, at the end of next week and into next weekend, this is Saturday 29th of February, develops a little low pressure to the southeast. On the northern side of that, the area is cold. That could be uh, another snow event. Perhaps a little bit further southwards, though, uh, at the end of next week and into uh, next weekend. Let's have a look at precipitation type forecast uh, then with the uh, GFS finally. So we're back to the weather outlook. We're at Thursday. That low pressure comes in on Thursday, bringing outbreaks of rain to the southwest. Snow suggested again, though, through Scotland and northern England, possibly down in, even into the Midlands for a time on uh, Thursday morning before, again, it goes back uh, towards um, 
rain and then we have quite a bit of wet weather across the country snow mainly restricts high ground across scotland through thursday then we get through to friday showers or longer spells of rain uh, around wintry showers in the north mainly rain down in the southeast it's nine o'clock in the evening on friday very wet in the south and southeast then but look what happens as we go to the early hours of saturday yes heavy snow starts to get going in the south that's producing a snow event in the southeast home counties london that sort of area getting a snow event saturday morning next week it's a week away it's a very long way off it probably won't verify but the G this particular gfs run does eventually produce some quite heavy snow even to southern parts of the country in around a week's time uh, so, of course, that will be uh, something that we'll look at a little bit later in the week. That's far too far away to have any confidence in. More reliably, we're focusing on tomorrow night and Monday for risk of snow in the north. So it looks like Northern Ireland, Northern England can expect some snow overnight Sunday and into Monday, particularly over high ground, but not exclusively so. Could be some coming down to lower levels. And then as we push on through Monday, that snow risk probably moves northwards so scotland uh monday morning could well get a bit of a snow event at the same time it probably turns back towards sleet and rain across northern Ireland and northern england then dies out and all of the snow melts away but across scotland we may keep that that precipitation as snow throughout the whole of monday and uh so there could be a pretty decent covering of snow across scotland in particular uh on monday Northern Ireland and Northern England probably start with a bit of a covering of snow in places, but it, I doubt it will last very long uh, and will melt and get washed away by the rain. But certainly we're entering a more interesting phase of this winter, uh, at the very end of it actually, we're entering a more interesting phase compared to the whole of winter so far from a wintry perspective. And in around a week's time, I wouldn't rule out the chances of snow even managing to make it down into the south. It will be determined on the exact track and position of areas of low pressure, whether we can pull it off. But uh, the chance is there anyway, sometime around next weekend, uh, that something wintry even down across more southern parts of the country. So we shall see. We'll keep updates about that. Uh, Gazweb is in the day's head. Right, that's it for all the videos uh, for today. Hope you've enjoyed them all. Uh, and tomorrow we'll begin with the final batch of spring analogue. We'll have Gaz Web is sending round up for you. E7 Metro France and DWD long range update coming up tomorrow afternoon and then in the evening ensembles watch. So another four videos tomorrow. I uh, hope you're enjoying all of the vids. That's all for now though, and thanks for watching.